it is. Yes, and it's the most wonderful time of the year, or is it? Let's be real. Many of us deal with stress mm -hmm. and uncomfortable situations, and they are part of the holidays, just as much as, I don't know, say, candy canes. Yes, and here to help us make life a little bit sweeter, kind of yes. like the candy canes, and navigate some through, through some of the tough situations. As therapist and coach, Amy Hashke, it's great having you. Thank you for having me. Uh, Welcome. Let's talk about the holiday. Entering mm -hmm. the... De December ends up being kind of like a year in review of your life. Mm -hmm. And if you're entering the holidays, maybe single, maybe uh, yeah. newly divorced or just having not found love, going into the holiday season, it kind of, some people feel a lot of stress about that. Absolutely. You know, right now there's holiday parties, family gatherings. Yeah. Couples have been rocking those ugly Christmas sweaters for weeks. <laughs> and it gets complicated when you're without yeah. that plus one this time of year. Especially everybody's sending you the cards and it's a couple and their kids. It's like... Absolutely. Yeah. It can get so complicated. So it's important to not necessarily dread this time of year. Don't let the holidays define who you are. We tend to look at the year in review, mm -hmm. take these couple of weeks and say, wow, I'm alone. Mm -hmm. So it's all about perspective and really having confidence in the relationship with yourself. And when mm -hmm. you own that, you own that status, you own being single, the options, the choices, flexibility can actually really begin to open up for you. So it's about having also that attitude of gratitude this time of year. Interesting. So mm -hmm. yeah, don't be intimidated by, for instance, my mother is widowed and she mm -hmm. doesn't really enjoy going to holiday parties now that she's widowed, uh -huh. um, which is strange because she's such an outgoing gal. Yeah. But yeah. you're saying um, don't be intimidated by it. It's also can be a great mm -hmm. opportunity to meet people, can it? It can. So yeah, let's talk about holiday parties for a minute. So I have one simple yet effective strategy. Kay. Because when you're flying solo at a party, it can be really difficult to navigate a room, to work a room. Yes. There's groups and conversations and couples at every turn. You have nobody to flank you. And it, it's yeah. difficult to integrate <laughs> into that. Yeah. Exactly. So my recommendation is to simply hang out by the food table. <laughs> Yes. Because, I've been yeah. doing that for years. Great. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take a little bit of discipline, hang around all those hors d'oeuvres all night, but you're going to have a steady flow of traffic your direction. It's a great opportunity to spark conversation yeah. and to meet people. Highly awesome. recommend. That is yeah. very interesting. And, I like it. And, and, uh, frankly, I think half the stress is having that one nosy aunt that comes up mm -hmm. to you. It's like, why not you with somebody? You Listen, i got a girl for you. you got a guy. Mm. You've got it down. Have yeah. you been there before? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Right, so what I recommend about that, it, it's, it's all about survival and this kind of this fake it till you make it kind of response, okay? Mm. So we want to be overly enthusiastic about how great it is to be single. You absolutely love it. You're the master oh. of your time and your schedule. You've got the whole bed to yourself. You can spend your money and time however you want True. to. You're traveling whenever you want to. So what you're essentially <laughs> saying to these invasive family members is, I'm so happy being single that you really don't need to worry about me. I love it. Okay. <laughs> I think that would totally Redirect. work. And then you're Redirect reflect and okay. deflect. Yeah. That's awesome. And then your aunt's going to start thinking like, hmm, that doesn't sound too bad. Your uncle's exactly. not looking nearly as appetizing as right? he used to. They're going to be jealous of your freedom by the end of this yes. positive declaration you've got going. And absolutely, yeah. there's there's absolutely nothing wrong with being single. There's nothing wrong mm -hmm. with being together. There's nothing wrong. You can be you. Just absolutely. be you. Absolutely. Own it. Yeah. And I think the same applies to, like, uh, I might have a nosy aunt who doesn't like what I'm wearing or mm -hmm. doesn't understand why I brought what I brought to the party, or all these things, these like yeah. kind of layers of judgment that can happen during the holidays. It's right. sort of like, just, just let everyone be who they are. Absolutely. Right? I think sometimes people look at our circumstances, they think about how they would feel if they were in our position. Yeah. They mm -hmm. project all of that anxiety onto us. Yeah. Yes. So it's important not to grab onto that. Be yourself. That's a, it's a oh. festive family mm -hmm. holiday. Um, yeah. Let's talk about giving gifts during the holidays. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Huge stress for me. <laughs> can get really awkward with family and friends. How, what do you do with the whole gift mm -hmm. giving thing? I know some of our friends are elaborate and over the top. Yeah. Others are mm -hmm. budget conscious, a little more reserved. And then you've got these folks who think that whatever you give them symbolizes the friendship. So talk about pressure. Pressure. Right? Yeah, no kidding. So what stands out to me from an etiquette-based perspective and a relational standpoint is establishing expectations. So get your mm. friends and family together and talk about what gift-giving season is going to look like for mm -hmm. you this year. So that starts with, okay, what's my budget? Share it with them. Yeah. Stick with it. Mm -hmm. There should be no strings or guilt attached to gift-giving. Okay? Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent advice. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, like in my family, we did Secret Santa and we put a mm -hmm. price limit and that works really well because right. and it, you're setting that up so no one's disappointed. I just, right? I hate when I get something it's hard, really this big ornate yeah. or really huge, lot of effort and I'm like, oh, well, 
I went to the gift card stand and I grabbed you something really quick. I feel like a jerk. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. If you're handing out movie tickets and you're getting a designer watch or handbag from your friend, it's time to have a talk. Yes, okay. absolutely. Yeah. So communicate. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about uh, mixed families. Many of us mm -hmm. are um, you know, married to people who were married before. We have stepchildren. Um, yeah. How do you navigate through some of these topics? This is another um, topic that's tough to handle, especially the first, a situation that's tough to handle the first year that you're that's dealing with an ex if you yeah. have an intact family and suddenly there's a separation. Yep. Yes. Um, so first and foremost, we got to put the kids at the center because we adults can also be very focused on our needs, mm -hmm. how we want to be perceived by our new partner, by our ex. That can raise anxious tendencies to want to control, establish territory, and to even establish new traditions, which are not a problem, but it can be unsettling for kids yes. because they are used to these older traditions and to family members being together, and it may never be that way again. Mm -hmm. hmm. So it's important to keep them in the loop, let them know what to expect. And every family has to decide, okay, where am I going to spend which holiday, when, and for how long? Let them know. That makes them feel secure and safe in the situation. Amy, but you need to come on every week. This we is just, great. I <laughs> we, would love it. I need this. This has been therapeutic. Amy, it's great having you. Thank you for having yes. me. Contact Amy on her website, amyhashgay.com. You can also connect with her through social media at Amy Hashgay. Stay with us. We'll be right back.